Well, you know what I always say, everybody needs good neighbours <laughs> and good neighbours become good friends. You do. I do. Uh, it's been a mantra of mine. Has it been a mantra of, of yours? Of you for years. Like a show. I should, really. That'd be a good based idea. On that. It'd be marvellous. But we're not sure Paul Robinson is Ramsey Street's most popular resident. Yeah. Why is that? Well, over the years, he's set fire to the local hotel. Yeah. Uh, he's been married... Uh, one Five times. Right. Uh, someone tried Doesn't to make murder him. A bad him. Person, someone does tried it, really? to murder him. That wasn't a good day. Okay. But there is a woman in Paul's life who's desperate to be more than a good friend, and that's Therese. Well, it was a big thing. She built up all her courage, and she. I, I just wasn't sure. How would you think she read the look on his face? Well. Uh, Looking at that, not very, not great. <laughs> you did it for all the wrong reasons, though, didn't you? No, well, yeah, yeah, it was a big, desperate laugh. Big Vance comes in and yeah. like, oh, she goes, ooh. And it... does, so. does she really love him? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think they're, they're deeply in love. They are deeply very. Love. See, the thing about it as is, as deeply that... as your previous five wives. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, this is the thing. It's like, how many times can you say you are the one <laughs> and really mean it? But I think, as far as Rebecca, look at this. Look, we're oh, holding. No. Her. I know. Um, the thing with with uh, with Beck's character is, and my characters is, we've been through such a a, 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 a roller coaster, but also just in out mm. in out. It will they won't they for something like four years or something. Mm. Well, you've been in so many episodes, my friend. I mean, going back to the mid eighties, yeah. Mm -hmm. what would I would have first met you, and then there was a time where Neighbours wasn't part of your life, and you came and you lived in in London. Yeah, I did, right? I did, mm. and that was quite a long time. Yeah, I was here for over eleven years. I, was, I had a twelve year high hiatus from the show and uh, I spent a little bit of time in America but predominantly the rest of it was here and uh, I, I was very fortunate because people kind of say oh you know you, you faded into oblivion and it's like no I pretty much worked non-stop the whole time mm. I was here but you had at that stage I presume you had another career you had another life you were working on other things mm. and you had no intention or it wasn't in your plans to go back to neighbours no no that's I'd, I'd sort of chalked that uh, episode of my life uh, off and I it's funny because people think, as you did before, think that I actually went back to Australia to go back to Neighbours, and that wasn't the case at all. I actually went back to build a house. Never built a house, ended up back on Neighbours. <laughs> funny, that. Uh -huh. um, is this your first visit to London? Have you been here before? Have you worked here before? Oh, gosh. No, well, I, um, I'm actually half English, so um, I have been coming to England since I was a baby. Um, and I've done lots of pantos here and I've done bits and pieces. Um, so to me, England's... It's a bit like coming UK, home. UK, yeah, it's, it's like second home for me. I've got lots of relatives here. But isn't it funny, sorry, I've got to interrupt you. It, they don't get panto in Australia. They're trying... They, they, yeah, there's... Uh, uh, Bonnie, it's, it's, Bonnie has brought a couple over there. Yeah, it's, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a climate thing, um, you know... But also the Australians don't get... For, for a, such a raucous nation, they don't get... It's behind you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's, it's, it isn't. It's, it's a very type... It. It's a very different mm. type of humour, which um, I don't think Written the Australians energy. would... What about uh, the action when you're out and about... People Say that like again, sorry. What's the reaction when you're out and about? Do people like to come up and talk to you about oh, storylines? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a little more subdued now because of, as you said, because I lived here for so long, so people mm. kind of got used to seeing me. But also, you've got to remember, we've been going for 35 years next January. Um, so the, the hysteria certainly died down, mm. but the, the recognition is still there on a daily basis. But by saying that, we're actually in Brussels um, the other day mm. oh, doing some ballistic. press, and we were far more recognised in Brussels, and the media, um, we went to and visited their... their, their so Does the show play in English there, or is it... Uh, oh, I'm not quite sure, actually. Yeah, yeah I think it's in I'm English. Sure. Yeah, it's English. But we went to visit the, the set of their, their big soap, which was fascinating, it was amazing. But the media that they had there was was nothing like I've really sort of well of in the last thing, sort of you know yeah. um, you know ten years or so. Um, but it's all over the world, neighbours, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. a lot of nice and kind of odd places. We thought you were anonymous. <laughs> well, I, I made it was the weird in Belgium. <laughs> I made the uh, the uh, let's call it an assumption that there's there's probably and this sounds really scary. There's probably about a billion people out there who know who I am. <laughs> yes, yeah, because I've been scary. associated with yeah. the show for so long and. You've You've got to remember, at one stage we were going to nearly 70 countries. Yeah. So, you know, it, uh, over the uh, years it adds up. Oh, but they will love you. I know, they love you. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, some things never change. I mean, when, when it was in the mid 80s and when you were on BBC, you were on at lunchtime and then the evening. And so it still happens on yeah. Channel 5, yeah. right? Yeah. The yeah. same thing, you get that double bubble mm. um, every day. Yeah. Or, or which which is great, because it was, it, it, it was such a trend, and I think for them to sort of take it over and then go, all right, we're going to change the time slot and change... I think that would have scared everybody off, and it might not be mm. what it is today, if that is... And Denise Van Outen's joining. Oh, yes, 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 she came on. She and was... And, and Richard? Before. 
And Richard, Richard Arnold. Arnold. Like probably seven million other uh, red-blooded men. <laughs> yes, bit, of, bit of a lust crush. <laughs> you uh, should have seen him the other day. Crush. <laughs> <Barrel>. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, but no, she's a sweetie. She was a, she was great. Fan. I'm very confident. She was. Uh, yeah. she's, no, she was really really mm. great. And um, she's actually her character that she played because um, I thought it was just a cameo. But mm. um, she's coming out to yeah. Australia next month or in mm. August. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To Australia do a good month. And we so it's like great. to see what happens with the marriage proposal yes. and whether it's stay a, a yes or we'll stay tuned. Lovely to see you both. Thank, Thank you. you.